Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov and in this section I will show you how I am generating strategies because FSB Pro offers really a lot as settings, tools, functions and I will try to make it easier for you. So I'll go for a new strategy. You can open one from this small icon over here or you can open a strategy from a template from this button and this is exactly what I will show you in this video how to prepare a template which is very useful every time you run a generator. Now once you have a strategy the first thing you have to decide is uh, the profile which is the historical data you are going to use. I said that FSB demo data works really great when you synchronize the symbol settings. Then you have to select the market. I will go for Euro dollar and then you have to select the time frame. I will stick to M15. Now all of the strategies that you generate will go into a collection. You can manually add strategies to a collection from the editor or you can set up a name for your strategy collection and you can as well download the collections and on a later stage you can re-upload them, recalculate with the new data and just keep all of your strategies into collections which is uh, the easiest way personally for me. Okay, so this collection I will name FSB Demo Data Euro Dollar M15. Now I said I will show you how to set a template for the strategy. If I click on the strategy properties I'll be able to set the entry amount and the additional entry signals. I will stick to lot, not percent, and I will stick to point one as an entry amount for the first position that opens and I will reduce the maximum position amount for point four. You can decrease it even more if you are trading a smaller account. For example, you can go for point zero one and maximum position amount you can decrease it to point zero four. So it really depends on what size of account you are trading and with how much you want to be trading. That's a personal choice. So if I leave it this way, we will open one time at point one and then we will have space for three more additional positions, right? And in total it will be 0.4. The additional entry signals, you have a few choices. You can leave it to nothing. You can add every time you have the same directional signal. You can select to add, but only if the previous one is a winner, right? If you are on a profit, then this is the only time you will be adding. Or you prefer to add if you are losing from the first trade and that makes sense if you want to improve your average price for example right so you will buy on the lower price and you will average your position i will leave it to nothing because i want the generator to decide is it going to add is it going to do nothing or winner or loser okay i will leave it the same to the next opposite directional signal. So one more time, you can do nothing. You can reduce from the position. If you see an opposite signal, you can close the position, which makes sense for many strategies. And you can reverse as well, which I like quite a lot as an option, because if I see the opposite signal, it makes sense that we have to reverse the position. But again, it depends on the strategies you are trading. I will leave it to nothing. And as well, for the moment, I won't add stop loss, take profit and break even points. And I'm not using Martingale. Now, these are the strategy properties and we can set as a template the entry condition, for example, bar opening, and you can choose from bar closing, Bollinger Bands, Deutsche Channel, entry hour, plenty of options over here. I will leave it to bar opening, and as an exit, I will leave it to bar closing. Again, you have plenty of options. You can use trailing stop, weekly closing, video moving average, if you will, a lot, a lot of features. But in this video, I want to show you a basic setup or a basic template that I am using. So the last thing I want to show you right here is how to save this strategy as a template. I will click on this blue icon that says save the current strategy as a template and it is saved. If I close the strategy, I will select not to save uh, the changes. 
and I click on this icon, open a new strategy from a template, you will see that I have the very same settings, the same historical data market, and as well I have the strategy properties over here, bar opening and bar closing. And in the next videos, I will show you how the generator works and how to set it up. We'll see you right in there.